All righty. I was just sitting in this lazy boy watching that television with YouTube. I sat through about, I don't know, maybe six videos. And then I was done with this. Years ago, I did a video about my favorite bottom rig that works for me in the St. John's River. And I call it the strong arm. I sat in that lazy boy, watched about six videos, and made 25 strong arm rigs. If you're new to this channel or you've never seen that video, this is a strong arm rig. I'm going to put a link to it in the card at the top corner of the video. There will be a link in the thing that's called the video description. When you're on a phone, you'll never find it, I guess. But if you're on a computer, it says show more. You click there. That's what happens. You get more information. Well, that's the strong arm rig right there. And I made 25 of them. I will also put a link in the pinned comment. Pinned comments are the first comment that I make of my own video. So this is all I needed to make the best rig that I've ever used because why? It was designed by me. I got a pair of crimpers. I got 80 pound Mason hard type nylon. Very, 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 very strong and tough nylon, not monofilament. It's 80 pound. Uh, this was an old fluorocarbon spool that I put the Mason 80 on. All right, so I've got a whole bunch of this. It's very stiff. See how stiff this is? Very, very stiff. It, it will straighten out over time, but I don't even care if it straightens out. I want it to be really stiff and pointing down. So I'll explain a little bit more later. I got some good little nipper cutters here. And that's what you'll also need. For the 80 pound mono, I've got double barrel crimps because they're crimped on each end. There's a crimp there. And then there's a crimp right there. So I got my crimps. You're going to need cross line swivels. These are number fours, I believe. Number four, cross line, three-way swivels. See? There's your cross line swivel. Then you're going to need your snap for your sinker. I got a pile of, I believe they're number fours also. Let me see. I think they're number fours. I got piles of them here. And I always keep the tag. Oh, these were number fives. There's number five. Number four will work too. These were just some uh, dual lock snaps. I got piles of them. So I sat in about six videos and even two phone calls and one totally wacky phone call. Oh my God. It's unbelievable how people <laughs> just think they're going to go out fishing and just get like whatever they want. Like it's a menu item on a, in a restaurant. That's funny. Now your crimps, 1.0 double barrel crimps for 80 pound mason. All right. So here is a whole bunch of crimps. You know, and I just buy these over time at Wally's World. Your double barrel crimp, and I show in the videos how to crimp this. There's crimping correctly, 
and then there's crimping incorrectly. Let me show you how I keep these strong arms on everything all the time. All right, now we're in the tackle vault. Strong arm right here. Leader. Got my strong arm. Got my leader. This is my leader that I put on it. That's the strong arm. Why do I use the strong arm? Well, it's real simple. When you attach your sinker to this snap and you're going up and down bottom fishing, if this snap is hanging here, look where the leader is pointing. The leader is hanging. So when you're going up and down, this strong arm, that's how it got its name, keeps the leader from wrapping in your main line up here. And it is mega strong. So everything south of that swivel on this leader is sacrificial. This is like 30 pound mono here. And this 80 pound mason is not going to break if you get down in some snags. So as you can see, let's just take a look a little bit here at the rod vault. Okay, I got a strong arm there, strong arm here, strong arm, strong arm, strong arm, strong arm, strong arm, strong arm. Here's a strong arm without a leader on it. Here's a strong arm. Here's a strong arm. All the way over here. Okay, strong arm. Strong arm without a leader on it. Strong arm, strong arm, strong arm, strong arm, strong arm. So do you get it? You get now why I build these? Because it works. Let's go up in the boat and replenish my supply, which is really not the deal. I don't have to replenish. I just keep a real big load of them always. So there's 25 right there. Go down here, get my box out. This is my just plain old utility box. I did a video about these. These DeWalt boxes work great. And then what do you see right there? Plenty of strong arms. So then I take these. I don't go through this many, but guess what? While I'm sitting around doing nothing on a Sunday afternoon, after it just got done pouring rain again, as it does every day, I've got the strong arms filled up. Got the hooks, got my, got uh, some eggs. And this is the most popular hook I use. This is the most general hook that's gonna go on there. There's a number, a one-aught, must add 3407. Catches about everything. So there you go. You know, everybody was hot to trot on the initial video that I did of the strong arm rig. And there was people, oh, you know, they complain about how much the mace and hard type nylon costs. Well, it's the same as bait or anything else. It's going to cost. It's called the cost of doing business. It's called the cost of fishing. So if you just got a quarter pound spool of Mason Hardtype Nylon 80, I'll put the link below, um, you're set. 
Number four or five, do lock snaps. Number four, cross line uh, swivels. Let's go through it one more time. Cross line three-way swivels. And one aught or 1.0 double sleeved crimps. That's all you need. I mean, I get, I get, you know, you got to remember, I get so many people on my boat and they ask all kinds of questions because they're from all over the country, sometimes on other parts of the world. And they want to know why this is on their rod. So I just, I tell them the whole story of how I developed this to keep from getting tangled because bottom fishing in current which we have plenty of is a tricky situation and you know tangles are a big deal especially if you got four people all around your boat here just dropping down in that current so let's go over this one more time so you got your number four cross line swivel you got your your 1.0 double barrel crimp you got your number four or five dulock snap then you got a length i guess that's probably about five inches overall total length and then you got your double barrel crimp here and then you put i put about a I don't know what size swivel this is, but you can see I don't overdo it on the swivel. And I'm telling you, we've had black tips, black tip sharks, tarpon, snappers, groupers, barracuda, everything we've had on this rig. And you know what? If they break it, they break it above it or this way on a leader. Then I tie on from here about 14 inches of sacrificial 30 pound mono sometimes 20 because I want to just be able to break it and bring this back now here is my sinker collection and in here I've got the standard operating procedure sinker is usually a four I use these because I like they lay. When somebody puts their rod in the rod holder, I have them bring it on down. No roll. They're not rolling. They don't roll around. Your snap. And on this type of sinker, this is a bank sinker, I went from frustration to no frustration. And it took, it sounds so stupid, I know. But, you know, I worked on making this rig and how to make this. You notice I'm holding a swivel there. I'm holding a swivel there. You notice how it's standing out? Because I crossed the line through the eyes of the swivel. That's in the video, in the video description of how to make this. I'm just showing you what works for me, as in all the videos on this channel. It's what works for me. I don't care if you do it. I don't care if you try it. I'm showing you to hopefully, if you're having an issue, say to yourself, hmm, maybe I'll try something different. Maybe I'll try that or something. I answer so many questions. So that's it. Look at the video description below, please, or click on the card at the top right hand corner of this video where it'll go in more depth and make your own strong arms. It may work for you. It may not. But I'm just putting it out there one more time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.